Hey everybody, this is Andy from Tennis Euphoria and today I'm bringing you my short review of the Slinger Machine and also a quick run through of the session that I had with it today as I think it gave me a pretty good training session. Now I'm no tennis coach, uh, I'm a personal trainer and strength and conditioning coach by passion um, and work. So I love the process of getting better at things. And that's why the Sling has been on my radar, um, a sort of portable ball machine. How, how cool could that be to train? But my concerns would be how good would it be fundamentally? How powerful would it be? How easy would it be for use and how maneuverable is it? So the bag itself, main compartment here for balls, about 150 can go in there. Racket compartment, which is handy. And then the zip side here has a charge port where you can charge your phone, which was also handy. It opens up with a neat design clip, and then you have three buttons. The first looks at the frequency of the balls coming at you. The top one there is the speed of the ball. And then the third control is literally the height that the ball is released, so nice and easy. There's the control, which has great range all across the court. So here's the power question. I've set this up to full power. Um, top frequency and it's close to the baseline as you can see this is a pretty powerful machine can you get it around so notice I've got it on the back seats it is pretty big but then next to other ball machines it's really easy to move around not too bad getting it up and down stairs it could probably do with some sort of handle at the front or the side and of course when it's full with balls I wouldn't exactly call it light but pretty good and of course when it's on the ground you can move it around like a suitcase so in terms of what I did with it today and was it a good session for me as I say I'm no tennis coach but I've got an idea as to the things that I wanted to work on First of all, I just wanted to set it up actually with some relatively good rotation. So I've got a relatively high trajectory on the ball. This is under half power. And I just wanted to practice some um, backhands that were coming at me with relatively good spin. Now, in hindsight, I probably would have put up the power a little bit more to get a bit more depth on these. But it served a purpose. I was able to hit. I think I did this twice. So 300 balls on my backhand, just drilling. You know, great. What's not to like? Another thing that I've been keen to drill in my game was sort of second shot after return a serve and also being aggressive to start a point up. So I felt that by moving this onto the oscillator, this side of the net, putting the frequency up, obviously this, the power is low so it bounces still within the baseline from this side would be a good way of doing that and that worked really well. Now of course the benefit of a machine is that the machine doesn't miss and the machine doesn't tire so in effect you can have a 150 long rally which is a you know great cardio workout at the same time. The other thing that I've been looking to practice myself is I've noticed that on shorter balls I've been a little bit guilty of netting them so by moving the slinger to the back lowered the power a little bit to create that short ball and lowered the height of the trajectory a little that created that sort of soft slow ball so I was able to practice that great and then I also wanted to practice my backhand slice a little bit I think that could be generally just deeper and more penetrating so just literally move the slinger to the other side power was increased a little bit easy to set up again and I found that it was all pretty intuitive I wasn't having to mess around with it too much and with the control um, that works from the other side of the court if you get it wrong just quickly stop it run back over small adjustment perfect battery by the way was really good so I've been using it to charge my phone when I'm out as well five hours is claimed and certainly it hasn't run out on me yet then another drill that I wanted to work on was sort of shorter backhands so just turn the power down a little bit and again mine came with a ball picker upper which was really helpful so ran around put it in within a minute was hitting again and again the benefit I guess of a machine is that it doesn't miss and it doesn't run out of energy until the battery goes so you get a really good consistent drilling session and then of course it's a great serving partner so set it up with um, a little bit of power 
and you can just get it to feed your balls while you hit 150 serves at a time so there's not a lot not to like obviously it's quite a big purchase but and it's not going to replace a coach it can't help you with your technique but if you're someone who loves just training yourself and has got an idea of what you want to work on i think it's a fantastic investment hope you liked this review there's some more racket reviews coming i've obviously been busy at work recently and this channel while i love it doesn't pay the bills so i'll do them as soon as i can but i hope this was helpful if it was give it a like uh, thumbs ups are always helpful and be interested to see if you've been using slinger